Okay, YouTubers, this is part four of programming the BMW X1. The advanced car safety module is already encoded. All right, but it's not locked. We're going to try to use the BMW Easter AOS online system. I buy a 24 hour subscription and we're going to do the locking using the online AOS system because there's a file that is required which I did not uh, found it on my system. But I actually found that file when I installed, uh, I found the file when we install, uh, when we install the system folders. All right, let us go there. You see right here, the, the, the AOS system is installed right here. And the test, the, the, in the test module right here, there, there's a file that is called, let us go for it. This one that says Ethernet. This one, I did not have this one in my Easter offline system, okay? And I did not have three more files that is listed right here, okay? I did not have three files that is listed here, but this one mainly check IP over Ethernet. I did not have that one, but I copied it over to my system, okay? All right, because my system would be uh, would be right here when I right click, I open up the file location, do it, and I can go right here to uh, Ryan Gold. We go to my test module and my offline system, and then I type in also Ethernet. You're gonna see the same file there. See that? These are the files. Let me minimize I2 radar, as you can see here. This is the AIS online system on the right. These are the files that is required, especially this one. This one right here, it was not there, but I copied it over now, okay? So if I use my ISTA offline to read out the car, and when I calculate the measure plan, I should not get an error for this file right here because it, 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 it draw up this file here to check the IP on over Ethernet, okay? Especially for the edge unit and so on, okay? I did not have it, so therefore I I learned that I can search for it in the test module in ISTA offline and therefore it is there and therefore I copy it over so when we're done we're gonna make a video of running offline on the car and do a calculation measure plan and see what works okay hope you all understand okay we're going to um, okay this one is finished we're gonna go here vehicle management we're gonna go software update are you gonna do software update now you're not gonna see the ISTA AOS online system comes up with the error about the Ethernet DLL file that you can't find that file, okay? You're not gonna find it, come up with it. Carefully the measure plan and so on. All we gotta do now, we're gonna pause the video on the no tape phone and wait, okay? Okay, now see that? It shows down now that the EGS is gonna be updated, the EPS, and the front light electronics left, and front light electronics right, and the FZD, and the NUNI basic, and the IHKA, okay? So we're gonna do that and in the process of time I hope it locked the airbag and so on. Alright, we're going to um let me go to the control unit exchange. We're gonna select the airbag. This is it right here. We're going to we click we we'll make sure we don't we do not click before, we click after, and then we're gonna add this to the measure plan, cross save the module, we're gonna click right here and I like the X. And then we go here and then we display measure plan. Then we calculate measure plan for the airbag. It's going to create a measure plan for the airbag. It's going to sense that. It's already programmed and coded, but it's going to encode it back over. But it's going to create a, a part of the measure plan, the locking of the airbag module. Okay? And that's it. We, we pause the video for now and we wait. Okay, here it is. You said we should install the earbag, we just did, okay? And um, it's gonna program the EGS and it's gonna write blah, 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 blah. You see that? If we scroll down here in the plan, we click on that, scroll down the plan. See, you see it added the ABL to lock in the earbag. This is it right here. This is what the function we're gonna do right here, really. That's what I really use online system for. And then we go right here, we perform, we click right here, perform. Alright, and it says here, 
ensure that the time or location is sufficient enough for the programming minimum one day all right that is what we program time allocation can be acquired in the online portal all right cool no big deal all right that's it we're gonna program the car right now and this is the function i wanted this software to perform okay because i did not have uh, certain files nevertheless we have to check out this thing right here the basic requirement of programming and coding is that the vehicle is currently prepared for the following prerequisite must be fulfilled okay i already run through all this already all of this is on level ground, the vehicle is on level ground Alright, and um, the vehicle is in park and so on Alright, and so on, all of these are checked, okay? Alright We go forward, wait And there's nothing running over the door window jam and so on We just put the card right there, so that when the door is closed like this We can have the, um, we have no issue all right because sometimes gonna do window up and down initialize seat and all of that crap okay so we pause the video for now on the phone and we wait okay okay the online files are being downloaded the coding application file for the control modules concerned that require coding these are the files being downloaded right here to the programming data folder in the in ista aos online system you see that and we can probe other folders we can probe another folder and look when we'll bootloader here. There are some files here, downloading, and there's this is right here. Checking and downloading the software units. Alright, these are there right there that's been deposited right there in those folders. See that? Downloaded those software flash files because those are required for programming. Okay, of all these control models that is right here EGS, EPS, FZD, Ed Unit Basic, etc. Not all the, it says right here. I said not all software units could be loaded as a connection to the back end is temporarily interrupted. Should the loading of the software must be correct again? Yes, let us try because I switched the connection from the, 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 the office uh, router to my phone. We're gonna do again. All right, see, we copy the file. That says this one, we copy this file that says ABL, SMP, check IP address, Ethernet, ECU, that DLL. This, this, di that, this dynamic link library file, I copied it from uh, the ISTA AOS online system, uh, version 421.25, and um, somehow, we get an error that says there's error in the test module because it says right here file not found exception it says could not load file or assembly Rheingold is the core framework version 42112 because the version is lower than the version update of this file this one taken from 42125 and the software is the offline that I'm using is 42112 okay so that's why we get this error but nevertheless, the file is there, copied to the to the model, to the um, to the to the computer. All right, you said the calculation measure plan failed. All right, cool. The airbag cannot be locked today. Okay, YouTubers. So we pause the video for now and we wait. We are downloading. We are checking again and downloading file for software action for this uh, measure plan right here that include these modules. Okay, so we pause the video from the phone for now and we wait. Okay, my YouTube subscribers. All right, we are in the ending of part four, and we still do not lock the airbag as yet. And my 10-minute no K 4K is allowed to do, to, to do 10 minutes and no more. We are going to close off this now on the no K 4K, and we are going to continue with it on the laptop instead. Okay, all right, no big deal. All right, we are trying to lock the airbag here using the Ista online system, but it's downloading files. Some of the software files are downloaded. They're pretty large, almost a gig. Almost a gig thus far. See that 990 megabytes. Let me refresh here. It's still downloading files. Still downloading files. It captures some of the files like bootloader. Download some of that. You can see that. All right, YouTubers. End of the video. Have a nice day. Remember to subscribe.